Welcome to the Daily Word for the Thy Kingdom Come Prayer Movement. Today's reading is from the first letter of John, chapter four, verses nine to eleven. God's love was revealed among us in this way: God sent His only Son into the world, so that we might live through Him. And this is love, not that we love God. But that he loved us and sent his son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins. Beloved, since God loved us so much, we also ought to love one another. This is the word of the Lord. The God who saves. Imagine you can't swim. For some of us, that may not be very difficult. Imagine you are in deep water; you can't touch the bottom. You are exhausted, scared, and beginning to panic. What do you need? Imagine somebody offers to read out the introductory lessons from "Teach Yourself to Swim." Another friend offers to swim near you, so that all you have to do is copy how they do it. Neither would be much help. You don't need a book of instructions and ideals you can't follow, and seeing someone else apparently doing it perfectly will not be any use either. What you need is a lifeguard. You don't need educating. You don't need inspiring. You need rescuing. Saint John is quite clear that this is the whole point. This is why God's Son came into the world. The motive was love. The purpose was eternal life, and the means was the cross. For two thousand years, Christians have found different ways to express what the Lord Jesus' death on the cross means. Like facets of a diamond, the various ways of looking at God's actions in making us right with Himself reflect a different color. Of the spectrum of God's love, in these verses, John uses language that would have been very familiar to his audience: the sacrifice. All the background of the Old Testament comes into focus. There, people offered sacrifices of animals to God in order to find forgiveness. They show that the sacrifice died, so the worshiper lived. The cross works not because we can ever fully understand it or perfectly explain it, but because our holy and loving God says it does. The person in the sea doesn't need to know the physics of swimming or where the lifeguard learned to swim; he just needs to trust himself to the rescuer. As Saint John puts it in his gospel, we need to believe into Jesus. We give up self-reliance or trying to be good enough for God, and allow ourselves to be rescued. The thief who turned to Jesus as he hung dying on a cross next to the cross of Jesus, and simply said, "Lord, remember me," didn't know much theology, but he knew his need. In response, Jesus promised him paradise. Pray that. Your five will allow Christ to rescue them and find that peace that comes from knowing you are safe in someone else's arms. As we live out the kingdom, there can be nothing of imagining we are better than anyone else. Instead, our lives and our words are, as the great theologian Paul Tillich put it, one beggar telling another beggar where to find food. Let us have a time of reflection. God loves us consistently. How about us? Do we trust Him consistently? God has given us salvation on the cross through Christ Jesus. Before we fully understand. Take hearts and pray for five of our people to know about Jesus.
Let us pray. Almighty God, you know our necessities before we ask. Help us to pray only for things that go with your will. Mercifully give us those things which, for our unworthiness, we dare not, and for our blindness, we cannot ask. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.